What's up, everyone? Jeremy here from MTGHeadquarters.com, bringing you a Director's Cut edition of Conspiracy. This box was graciously donated by the amazing people at MTGCardMarket.com. You guys have heard me mention them before. I'm going to put a link to their website in the description. All I ask is you check them out. I think if you read the comments in videos where I talk about them, a lot of people have bought from them. They ship international, and everyone's been really, really happy with them. And uh, they're a huge supporter of the channel, and I just bought, uh, what? I bought, I just bought tw almost 20 booster boxes from them. So I've been showing them some business too. I don't just rep people who give me free stuff. I rep people who I like. And um, MTG Card Market has always looked out for me. They've been my longest supporter. And damn, guys, Jameson and I met Ryan yesterday. You guys are amazing. And this channel would no, would be nowhere near as good without you. So this is Conspiracy. 36 booster packs of Fun Draft. Uh, I talk about in my vlog, my conspiracy vlog, a little bit that I think Wizards recognizes. And I could be totally wrong about this, okay? And this is going to be a longer video. But I could be totally wrong. But I feel like Wizards uh, recognizes that these living card games are, are, you know, these like side games are really popular. Things like um, Android and even the Game of Thrones one and a whole host of others. And so conspiracy is something that is almost standalone from Magic. I think you don't have to love Magic the Gathering to love playing conspiracy. You just have to love games. There's a ton of diplomacy in this game, which is really fun. Uh, some of the early tips I'm, I'm getting is, maybe this is an EDH, people who play EDH just know this, but you kind of want to lay low. I think if you come out guns blazing, you better have a plan to kill them all. Kill them all like God sort them out. <laughs> because you're going to have a huge target on your back. Conspiracy is drafted, you know, just like any other set. Uh, except for there are certain things that, um, you know, are specific. And they're notated on the card like that. Uh, so I think there's a lot of sweet reprints in here. Uh, cards that people really want of all formats, but remember this is not standard or modern playable cards here. So the vast majority of people that I think this set, if, 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 if you are on a tight budget, you don't have money for fun side games, you know, it's, it's tough to buy, but if you don't, you know, you want to pick up, let's say, um, you and four friends, so you want to get 12 packs for a Friday night, you guys are having a party or you're having a sleepover or whatever it is, I think it's an awesome draft format. Uh, it's like EDH and draft combined. Maybe I'm not educated enough to say that, but that's how I'm a layman, you know. I'm a I'm a casual tryhard, and so that's how I see it. But uh, today is the release day. I promise to go a little bit slower through the videos, and thus I will do that. Um, we're just gonna go through the packs and and uh, try to get some epic pulls. There's some great cards in here, other than Dak Faden, which will probably just plummet in price once more this is opened. Um, some notable reprints, you know, stuff people want. Stifle, uh, Exploration, Council's Judgment, Pernicious Deed. I mean, Misdirection, Reflecting Pool, Brainstorm. I mean, there's just no end to the value in this set if you are... If you play other formats, right? Um, so we're going to go through. I'm going to just spend time now on the uncommons, the rare, and then I'm going to go through any conspiracies that are in the packs. So the last box, I didn't read any. And I just think they're kind of an interesting part of the game, right? Uncontrollable Anger, Sky Spirit, Smallpox, and our very first rare is a Pernicious Deed. Our very first pack is a Mythic. Highly sought after. Uh, I, I believe this was originally uh, rare, and it got bumped up to Mythic, so I know people don't love that. But, uh, boy, foil versions of this card are going to be super spendy, I'm sure. $40, $30, $40, $50. Uh, one colorless, one black, one green. X, sacrifice, pernicious deed. Destroy 
each artifact, creature, and enchantment with converted mana cost of X or less. Pernicious Deed is an enchantment, so it stays in play, which is amazing. Then we have a Cogwork Spy, so you have your artifact creatures uh, in each pack. And if any of those are rare or uncommon or something unique, I will go over those as well. I'm sorry I got uh, the video out late last night. I A lot of you know why. I think I just, like, when I, when my video, oh, there's a brainstorm. Uh, when my videos go over, like, I don't know, 20 minutes, sometimes it breaks it into two files, and then I have to use editing software, and it adds, like, two hours to everything. Factor Fiction, powerful reprint, Woodvine Elemental, Flaring Flamekin, and our second rare is Wolfbriar Elemental, 4-4 for four, for four, with a multi-kicker that uh, poops out wolf creature tokens for as many times as it was kicked. And we have a Whisper Gear Sneak, and we might have a Conspiracy, or, oh, we have a Squirrel token. I know I read in the comments that someone was excited to have Squirrel tokens that weren't $5 each. I didn't know that Squirrels were a thing, but apparently they are. Heckling Fiends, Palaka Worm, Skeletal Scrying, very cool card. And our rare is a Mythic, two Mythics out of three packs. Coercive Portal. At the beginning of your upkeep, starting with you, each player votes for Carnage or Homage. If Carnage gets more votes, sacrifice Coercive Portal. Portal. And destroy all non-land permanents. <laughs> if Homage gets votes... Or if the vote or more votes, or if the votes are tied, draw a card. So that's uh, probably situational, but interesting nonetheless. We have our first conspiracy of the box. It was a Sentinel Dispatch. At the beginning of your first upkeep, put a one-one colorless construct artifact creature token with defender onto the battlefield. So you basically have a a crone horse kind of, but it's yours. <laughs> Probably not a terrible card, you know. <laughs> Probably not uh, first pickable, but I don't know. I did not get to draft today. So I ordered some extra, and I plan on drafting. I'm putting together my, I'm going to force my own play group. Death Forge Shaman, Raito Lantern, Galvanic Juggernaut, and Magus of the Mirror. Six drop. It's for a 4-2. Sacrifice Magus. In exchange, life totals with target opponent. Activate this ability only during your upkeep. And we have a foil doomed traveler. We have another conspiracy, power play. Uh, you are the starting player. If multiple players would be starting player, one of those players is chosen at random. And a squirrel token. So the conspiracy is just kind of, uh, they affect the entire game state. So it, it, you know, you might make some enemies, you might make some friends. So, so that part of it is always really interesting. All right, Sky Spirit, lead the Stampede, Morkrut, Banshee, and our rare is a Edric Spy Master of Trust. Edric, very cool. Legendary Elf Rogue, when a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, its controller may draw a card. Very solid. Oh, and we have a double rare pack. Uh, Polanio, uh, the High City. We have, uh, this is a really cool card actually. The player to your right and left both choose a color and then you can tap it and it produces um, any color that they choose. Pretty cool. Definitely like, uh, you know, it's that last that post rare card is kind of like one of those cards where it's really only relevant in, dra in this draft format. Um, or if you run your own kind of crazy draft formats at home. Uncontrollable Anger. Mortify. Love this card. Vampire Hex Mage and... Ter Terracidon, 8 mana, 9 9, 
that can enter the battlefield and destroy up to three non-creature permanents and give them a 3-3 elephant token. We have Brago's Favor Conspiracy with Hidden Agenda. So spells with the chosen name you cast cost one less. Pretty interesting. You know we want that Dak Faden. We want that... Uh, <laughs> we're looking for Dak Faden... Or f basically any foil of notable reprints. Like, that's what the crazy pulls are in this set. Uh, Glimmer Point Stag, Breakthrough, Muradin's Core, and Council Judgment. All right. This one hit the market at almost 20 bucks. Surely will go down, but very good pull. Uh, will of the Council. Starting with you, each player votes for a non-land permanent you don't control. Exile each permanent with the most votes. And we have a conspiracy. Each creature you control with the chosen name enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. So you could take that early and... Uh... Ah, sorry. Had to get a drink of my Diet Sunkist. Take that early and try to plan around it. But it doesn't really seem that powerful. But hey, what do I know? Soul Catcher. And I'm actually putting these back in the box in the same order so that I can just redraft this box. That's what I like about Conspiracy. It can just basically be a game in your closet. Wood Sage, uh, Selvala's Charge, and our rare is a Drake's Down Forgotten. It enters the battlefield with X, 1-1 one, one counters on it, where X is the number of creature cards in all graveyards. So this is definitely a uh, cycle in this set. And then you can remove a counter... Target creature gets minus one, minus one till end of turn. And we have a foil, Necromantic Thirst, and a Conspiracy. This pack is loaded. Creatures of Control with the chosen name have tap to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. So it turns all of your creatures into Birds of Paradise. Um, as I was mentioning earlier, like my plans for this box, or like I opened two boxes, you know, I'm gonna sell all the cards that are worth it, worth anything, and then like replace them with rares from the other box, you know, and then just close the box up, repack everything, and there I have a, a draft set anytime I want. Uh, Wakestone Gargoyle, Breakthrough, Lead the Stampede, and a Grenzo's Rebuttal. Do I see a foil blue card? Oh, it's not a Brainstorm. Uh, put a 4-4 Red Ogre creature token out of the battlefield. Starting with you, each player chooses an artifact, a creature, and a land from among the permanents controlled by the player to his or her left. Destroy each permanent chosen this way. Yowza. We have a Foil Screaming Seahawk. And then another Conspiracy. Oh, we already have Secrets of Paradise. So, the Birds of Paradise Conspiracy. It seems like the way to win this draft format is to to be to plan your game around not being an early threat, let somebody else get the target on their back, and then plan your hand around being able to, you know, just play your fatties late and take over the board. Uncontrollable anger, reckless spite, peace strider, and death render. This is my favorite uh I love this card. I talked to uh Lubufu last night about this card. Equip creature gets 2-2. Whenever it dies, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield and attach Death Render to it. Pretty insane. Oh, and we got the Lore Seeker. This is like my all-time, this is my favorite construct. Reveal Lore Seeker as you draft it. After you draft Lore Seeker, you may add a booster pack to the draft. So if you're playing at home, you know, you can, uh, You'll want to plan around that. Like, I have a box of Homelands and a box of Fallen Empires and stuff that is cheap and kind of laying around. So, that's what I'm going to have available. But, you can make your own booster packs. <clears throat> Mystery packs, which I think is cool. Volcanic Fallout. Flame Right. Victimize and our rare is a reflecting pool. Sweet reprint pool. Love this art. Looks great. Tap to add. Add to your mana pool one mana of any type that a land you control could produce. 
And we have Brago's Favor. I'm not going to read them twice. If, if it's a new conspiracy, sure. Really happy for that reflecting pool. I mean, Wizards knows what they're doing with these reprints, you know. There's, it's definitely calculated. Some things just need reprint. Like, there's no reason certain uncommons or commons should be like five or six bucks. Marquesa's Smuggler. Tangible Virtue. Right on. Galvanic Juggernaut. And Grenzo, Dungeon Warden. Legendary Creature. And it's a battlefield with X, 1, 1 counters on it. Uh, it's X and 1 black and 1 red. Put the bottom card of your library into your graveyard. If it's a creature card with power less than or equal to Grenzo's power, power, you can put it on the battlefield. That's pretty insane. And we have a rare artifact creature, Deal Broker. Draft it face up. Immediately after the draft, you may reveal a card in your card pool. Each other player may offer you one card <laughs> in his or her card pool in exchange. You may accept an offer. Draw a card and discard a card. That's actually a pretty strong ability, too. It's not pure card advantage, but sculpting your hand is still card advantage. I think. Intangible Virtue. Wind Dancer. Warmonger's Chariot. And our third mythic, we have Marquesa, the Black Rose. This is a great commander, right? Because it gives you access to three colors. Um, with the throne, other creatures you control have to throw. Whenever a creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. That is a... Uh... Oh, nice! A mythic and a foil rare. Silvala Explorer Returned. Legendary creature, elf scout. This is going to be... This will probably be a pretty saucy card. I'm not sure if this is one of the ones that are able to be played... But it's just a very solid creature, I think. 2 4 with Parlay. And we have a secret summoning, so we have a conspiracy. Whenever a creature of the chosen name enters the battlefield under your control, you may search your library for any number of cards with that name, reveal them, and put them into your hand. That's very strong. Um, and from what I can tell, a lot of people just use the little tiny sticky notes. Because you have to like pick the name, right? You can't just like, you gotta write it down in some cases. For, to remember. Jetting Glasskite. Spontaneous Combustion. I like that card. Ruined Servitor. And Vidalkin Ori. You may cast non-land cards as though they had flash. That's pretty solid. Oh, and another foil rare. That's back-to-back -back foil rares. Rhea Dawnbringer. 4-6 Flying. All you EDH Angel players, you know where to get a hold of me. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. That is pretty ridiculous. And we have a Lurking Automaton. Very fun card to draft around. Wow, two foil rares and back-to-back. -back. Now there is a conspiracy. <laughs> Sometimes you got to amuse yourself, you know. Uh, Barbed Shocker, Bite of the Black Rose, Rito Lantern, and a Reign of the Pit. Love this card. Each player sacrifices a creature. Put an XX Black Demon Creature token with flying onto the battlefield where X is the total power of creatures sacrificed in this way. Even if people have to, like, sacrifice tutus or, you know, you're probably going to get at least a four, five, or six power flyer for six mana. And there are situations where you might just get a 10 power flyer, you know. Yeah, it still dies to plummet, but it's pretty ridiculous. Extract from Darkness. Uh, Silvala's Charge. Morkut Banshee, or Morkrut Banshee, and a rare is Exploration, all right. A Chase uh, reprint, one green mana. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Super powerful. We have a foiled scaled worm. This goes all the way back, I think, at least to revised, right? We have a rare conspiracy. As long as every card in your card pool started the game in your library or command zone, lands you control have tapped add one mana of any color to your mana pool. That's pretty insane. 
I wonder if conspiracy cards will have any value. Probably not. Maybe if people want to build like a conspiracy cube or something like that. Or I don't know. You know, that way. If you want to redraft it, you know, uh, then they probably do. Council Guardian. Split Decision. Peace Strider. And Scourge of the Throne. Wow, too long didn't read. A Mythic Dragon. Boy, I'm getting a lot of the junk mythics on the set. <laughs> Six mana, five, five, fire with the throne. And whenever it attacks for the first time each turn, if it's attacking the player with the most life or tied for the most life, untap all attacking creatures after this phase. There's an additional combat phase. That is uh, mega powerful. And it, the art on it is just really rad. Agent of Inquisitions. Come on, we need some, we need to get into the, the epic pulls here. Because I demand all my pulls epic. Wizards, didn't you get to notice? Didn't you get to notice when you shipped this, that this was for HQ? Jaden Glasskite, Rune Servitor, Relic Crush, and Grenzel's Rebuttal. All right, we already went through that. Very cool card. And a Foil Bloodweir Intimidator. And we have Power Play. Uh, you are the starting player. Conspiracy. I'm gonna have end up having like kind of a popper conspiracy cube, but or not cube, but you know, kind of a cube. Council Guardian. Extract from darkness. Victimize. And another exploration. All right, keep them coming. The uh, Muzio's preparations. Each creature you control with the chosen name enters with a 1-1 counter on it. An uh, Oliphant token. So right after this, I've got to go upstairs and edit the vlog. I've got a new video for my Pokemon Headquarters channel, and I've got a giveaway going on Pokemon Headquarters. So if you're not already subscribed, um, go do that if you want to win some free packs of Pokemon cards. Hey, yeah. even if you don't like Pokemon, go subscribe and sell the packs. I don't care. Intangible Virtue, Wind Dancer, Relic Crush, Ill-Gotten Gains. Four mana, Exile Ill-Gotten Gains. Each player discards his or her hand, then returns up to three cards from his or her graveyard to his or her hand. I don't love that card. <laughs> Lurking Automaton. I never like, that's the same reason I don't like playing Master of Feast and Standard. Like, I hate letting somebody else draw a card. I know people are always like, yeah, but it's like a three or four turn clock. And I'm saying like, yeah, I know, but I'm also giving them, it's like I'm giving them three extra turns because they're drawing extra cards on me. Marquisa Smuggler. The Infiltrator. Quicksand. And another Mythic, Pristine Angel. Wow, this box is uh, Mythic full. Six mana, four, four, flying. As long as Pristine Angel is untapped, it has protection from all artifacts and all colors. Whenever you cast a spell, you may untap Pristine Angel. I know some people contacted me about cards. Like I said, um, if the card's worth like a more than a buck or two, I'll put it up on my TCG player, and you can scoop it up there. I basically sell everything at TCG Lowe's because I really only want to sell to you guys, so I want to give you all a good deal. Otherwise, you can go to MTG Card Market, which is linked in the description below. They have everything. I have few things. Bloodweir Intimidator. Skeletal Scrying. Spectral Searchlight. <coughs> a reflecting Pool. All right, keep those coming. Um, so did you guys go uh, cast your vote for the Community Cup? There's a few YouTubers that want to go, and I respect everybody, but I also want to go. And I, I put out a video like a few days ago with a link to how to go vote. And if you have a few minutes after this video, I'd really appreciate it if you go cast your vote and for MTG headquarters. It'd be really cool. It'd help bring a lot of attention to the YouTube community, that's for sure. Soul Catcher, Explorer Scope, Squirrel Nest. And a stifle. All right. This is uh, one of the most expensive cards at pre-sale for the card. Counter target pre-sale. One of the most expensive cards during pre-sale for conspiracy. Counter target activated or triggered ability. I'm 99% sure it's a reprint too, right? 
Uh, Muzio's preparations. Or maybe not. I feel like it is. All right. Moving right along, moving right along, moving right, moving right, moving right along. <laughs> the Intimidator, Extract from Darkness, Plagued, uh, Rosalka, and a Decimate. Cool. Sorcery Speed, however, Destroy Target Artifact, Target Creature, Target Enchantment, and Target Land. Not or, and. Very cool. And a Sentinel Dispatch. Uh, at the beginning of your first upkeep, put three water on colorless construct artifact creatures uh, onto the battlefield. Okay. Again, I, that goes against my general strategy of winning conspiracy drafts, of not being, not like getting everybody's attention on turn one and putting a target on my back. I like to keep it sly. Unquestioned authority. Favorable wins. Explorer Scope and Misdirection. All right. We've had some sweet pulls here. You may exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay its cost. Tra change the tar target of target spell with a single target. Oh, and then another rare. Cogwork Grinder. You have to draft it face up. It enters the battlefield with X11 counters on it where X is the number of cards you removed from the draft with cards, car with cards named Cogwork Grinder. Huh. Wait, what? Oh, as you draft a card, you may remove it from the draft face down. These cards are not in your card pool. So, you know, all those junk picks at the end and stuff like that are cards you don't need. You could turn into counters for him. I didn't read it right the first time. I was like, this card sucks. Air Servant. Brutal card in M14 draft. Heckling Fiends. Bite of the Black Rose. And Academy Elite. And there's been a the X counters on it where X is the number of instants and sorcery cards in all graveyards. You, remove, you may remove a counter, draw a card, then discard a card. And a Cogwork Spy. Moving right along here. Definitely pulled a lot of the... Uh, well sought after cards. I, again, I'm very surprised that is 36 pack boosters. I thought they would be like uh, 24, like Modern Masters. Really thought they would be. That was, you know, interesting to me. Death Forge Shaman, Sky Spirit, Smallpox, Dax Duplicate. Four mana, is it? You may have Dax Duplicate enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it gains haste and a throne. That's super powerful. Cogwork Spy. I don't like taking gold cards early in draft, though, because you have to kind of either waste a pick or commit. So it's a shitty position or a crummy position to be in. There's a foil in this pack. I, I synced it. I synced it. All right. Favorable wins. Spectral Searchlight. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> foil right to a lantern. Okay. Elephant Guide and a rare... Oh, Magister of Earth. The Buy a Box promo. Also, the that kind of a card that famously uh, promoted Conspiracy, right? I'm pretty sure that's the one they just snuck out, put it in Journey to Next Drafts, and people are like, what is this? All right, Volcanic Fallout. Flame Rite. Predator's Howl. And a rare is Heartless Hidegitsu. <laughs> uh, 4 3. You can tap it and it deals damage to each player equal to half of that player's life total. That is insane. That is one powerful ability. You're going to get the whole table's attention when you activate that. Hero of Unexpected Potential. You may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast spells with the chosen name. Okay, to cast spells with the chosen name, though, makes it kind of. I mean, if you're going to splash a card and you know that and you put the conspiracy in for the color that you want to splash for, fine. If you drafted Doc Faden but you're playing mono black, sure. Doc Faden. Flame Rite. Swords to Plowshares. Premium removal, folks. 
Predator's Howl. And Custody Soulbinders. Forward mana. The cycle, right? Enters with X1 with counters where X is a total number of creatures on the battlefield. You may remove a counter to put a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. And a foil of Brago's favor. Um, yeah, so back to me pandering for votes to the Community Cup. I know it's extremely hard to get in. I know a lot of you know that, like, my biggest concern about the Community Cup is Cube, right? Everyone knows I, I, I have played Cube, like, once or twice in my life, and it was disastrous. But should I be nominated, I will dedicate myself to MTGO Cube, and I'll get it figured out. And I know how to play Magic, right? The cube, the MTGO cube has a set amount of, like a set cards, a set card list. So I can learn it. Wakestone Gargoyle, Marquesa's Infiltrator, Gamekeeper, and Altar of Dementia. Two mana uh, artifact. Sacrifice a creature. Target player puts in the number of cards equal to the sacrifice creature's power from the top of his or her library into the his or her graveyard. This could be kind of a fun card, if, especially if you have something that pumps out tokens. And we have a conspiracy, Secrets of Paradise. Remember the Birds of Paradise conspiracy. But anyway, I don't think there's a, there's very few people out there who draft as much as me. Uh, I'm definitely probably in the top 10%. So instead of drafting Journey and Nyx, I'll just be drafting Cube. And I'll get ready for it. I want to do right for the community. I don't want to go there and just suck. Unquestioned Authority, Quicksand. Palaka Worm and an Ignition Team. Seven mana. Comes in with tokens on it equal to the number of tapped lands on the battlefield. So that's pretty crazy. And you may remove a counter. This is nuts. A remove a counter. Target land becomes a 4 4 red elemental creature until end of turn. It's also still a land. And if Secret Summoning. Whenever a creature with the chosen name enters the battlefield under your control. Oh, we already read that one. Okay. So we've definitely found some of the amazing reprints, explorations, you know, that um, definitely would like to see a good old Dak in here. How about a Foil Swords to, swords to Golf Clubs? Well, that's not the Swords to Golf Clubs one, but Fact or Fiction. Woodvine Elemental. Warmonger's Chariot and Spiritmonger. This has been reprinted a couple times, I think, right? Or maybe not. 5 mana, 6-6, six, six, that also has, um, whenever it deals damage to a creature, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Also, pay 1 to regenerate black or 1 green. It becomes a color of your choice until end of turn. So, very powerful card, you know. Definitely what I would say, what I would classify as a bomb. Golgari has some pretty ridiculous creatures, that's a fact. Council the Guardian. Or Council Guardian. Split Decision. Fire Shrieker. And Route. Hey! I think this is my first Route. Five mana. You may cast Route anytime you could cast an instant. If you pay two more. Destroy all creatures. They cannot be regenerated. I love this card. I didn't even know Route was in the set. I didn't memorize every single card in here, but I'm happy to see it. And Cinderwall Foil. Cogwork Librarian. All right, last two packs. Will we find something completely epic? Probably, you know. I really don't see why we won't. I have to check some updated pricing today as I'm sure things have dropped and things have moved around. Fires of Yavi Maya, Vampire Hex Mage. Gamekeeper, and Sulfuric Vortex. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, it deals two damage to that player. If it, <clears throat> if a player would gain life, that player gains no life instead. This is a super powerful card. But again, it's one of those cards you're going to get some attention. That's a fact. All right, last pack. I hope you guys are really enjoying these conspiracy openings. If you want, I'll open another box. I have one extra. I was going to save kind of to draft. and But uh, if you guys want me to crack it, I'll crack it uh, next week sometime. 
I want to again thank MTG Card Market. Their link is in the description below. Please just check them out, you know. Check out their prices and, uh, you know, people seem to be really happy with them. They've been a great sponsor. And uh, after this video, take a moment to check out my video I uploaded like two days ago about the Community Cup. And um, I would really, really appreciate it if you could take a minute, even if you have to create a new account to vote for me. I would really, really, really appreciate it. I want to see if I can't get in there. I don't know what it. I don't know what it's gonna take. I don't know if it's gonna take thousands of votes or hundreds of votes. I just know I need way more than I have. So thank you to everyone who's voted for MTG headquarters. Um, but also, if you haven't yet, please before you know, before the weekend, just knock that out. And I would be super appreciative. If I make it, I'll do a mega giveaway. That's a fact. Fires of Yavi Maya. Flaring Flamekin, Galvanic Juggernaut, and our last rare is Realm Seekers. <sighs> All right, six mana. It comes into play with X11 counters, where X is the total number of cards in all players' hands. Not great if you're playing it on turn six or seven. Um, and you re can remove a uh, counter, switch your library for a land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Again, that's not, I mean, maybe it's okay. I haven't actually drafted yet, so and we have a power play and a construct. So that is our second box of Magic the Gathering's latest set, Conspiracy. I really hope you guys are enjoying the openings. Again, let me know if you guys uh, vote. You know, put a comment in the comment section down below that you voted for me, so I can thank you. Um, you know, if we could get like, you know, a hundred or two hundred more votes in before the end of the day or before the weekend. Uh, it'd be awesome. I'll open another box of Conspiracy for you. We'll do a giveaway, and uh, we'll all have fun. So, yeah, so thanks. It's been a great year. If you're new to the channel, take a second to subscribe. We'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG Vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.